Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am um, doing a video today for you guys that's gonna just be some tidying up around the house, hopefully get you some motivation and get myself back in the swing of filming things around here. Um, if you're new here, my name is Kate, welcome. I hope you are looking forward to some motivation, but before that, I just wanted to quick chat a little bit about a life update. If you wanna skip ahead to the cleaning, I don't blame you, <laughs> you're fine. But for anyone who's been watching and needs an update on how daycare is going, um, stay tuned. Sorry, I just had to get another cup of coffee. Um, but, daycare. So I opened my home to an in-home daycare and my first day with my first enrolled kiddo was August 24th. So it hasn't even been quite a month yet. And um, I'm going to be doing a tour here soon. Um, but before I do that tour, I thought I would just quick chat with you and let you know that it, it's going. Um, I'm surviving. It's, um, it's only one extra kiddo on top of watching my own too. So my own girls are a four-year-old Kennedy. She's gonna be five here at the end of October, so that time is flying. Um, and then I've got a one and a half year old daughter, Everly. So I've got Kennedy and Everly. And then I've got a one year old enrolled in daycare. He just turned one. So he is uh, meshing well with our family and my girls love him. And they just enjoy having him kind of in their space and showing him around and things like that. So things are going well. We're getting outside every day for walks and playing in our backyard. If you've been following my journey at all, you know that we've done a lot of work to our house to get it prepared for daycare. And um, although we're enjoying him, I mean, it's, it's nerve wracking. You guys, I went from a corporate job where um, I had a lot of financial security in that job, both now and for the future. And I took a big leap of faith and I'll tell you, it's been prayer after prayer after prayer asking for continued <sighs> continued security despite not having that income from my corporate job um, so I'll just I'm gonna leave that there because if I let myself think about what I've done meaning the leap that I took sometimes I think what the heck what, what kind of choice was that and I feel like I've put my family in jeopardy and maybe I have but I don't feel like I'm ready to quit or give up on this yet. So what I'm saying is I only have one child enrolled and obviously that's not getting me the same income that I had before, right? So we've got a mortgage to pay, bills to pay, credit cards to pay, student loans, which are going to be um, coming back up in December for payment. They've been on forbearance or deferment because of COVID, but I just have to take one day at a time, I guess, and make the right choice and not spend and um, obviously there's no saving right now because I, my income has dropped significantly, but I'm trying to make the best of it. I'm trying to pour my heart and soul into what I do every day with my girls and the boy that I do have enrolled. Um, so any prayers out there that you guys have for us here and my daycare, I would love to have them if you've got the time. Um, let me go ahead and jump into some of my cleaning for today. I'll tell you real quick what's on my list. I've got um, a fridge clean out and grocery haul video coming at you soon because I'm filming that simultaneously today. But today for you guys on this video, I'm gonna be doing some groceries. I've got some dishes left over from the week that I need to um, cycle through the dishwasher and a couple other miscellaneous items. So I've got my coffee. I'm going to turn on a YouTube cleaning video. Um, we'll see what I choose. Maybe I'll tell you what I choose or what I would like to watch. And let's get going.
All right, so my battery died, so I just switched it out, but you saw me just get done folding these clothes. These are mine, these are Zach's, and these are some bathroom towels. So I am gonna go put these all in their respective homes, and then I'm gonna show you in Everly's room what I wanna get done in there. All right, so this is my daughter Everly's room. She is my one and a half year old. Um, I've never done a room tour for her, but this is it, I guess. <laughs> um, this is what her room currently looks like. And I will tell you that running an in-home daycare, I spend so much of my time in our daycare space and making sure that that area is cleaned up that the spaces that we typically live in when daycare is closed often get extremely neglected. So. This is Everly's room and I actually have a lot that I want to do in here. I just, like I said right now, don't have the time. So um, today my goal is to get through this basket of clothes. The other day I took up one of her bins and I took out um, a bunch of Kennedy's size 2T clothes that I thought might fit Everly. So these are all clean. I just need to go through them and hang them up. And once that's done and I get the um, closet all kind of organized, then I want to find a spot for her diapers.
so we are in my kitchen now and I just wanted to quickly explain what you're gonna see me do um, the kitchen isn't that bad I do need to wipe down the counters um, but this mainly right here is what I need to unpack so this cubby um, caddy thing I got this from Target I think maybe it was from Walmart I can't remember um, but it's really nice because I just keep this downstairs in the daycare space and when we're done eating a meal we put our our plates on this side because it's a longer um, spot and then we'll put our um, spoons and forks in here and any cups or bowls or bottles go in here and then at the end of the day I just bring it upstairs I unload it into our dishwasher which is right here and they're ready to go I keep this upstairs overnight and in the morning I'll unload the dishwasher put all the clean stuff in here and bring this right back downstairs however <laughs> Friday night we had a bonfire and yesterday we actually were um, out of state for the day so I haven't touched these since Friday and it's Sunday so I need to go ahead and um, I've got the top rack empty I just need to unload these clean dishes here and transfer the dirty ones in so that's what I'm gonna do now and once I'm done with that I think I'll try and see if I can fit some of these pans in there too and I should be good for dishes. That was just so cute. I had to show you um, Zach finishing up one last pan. We have to put away the ones that you saw that were sitting to the right of the sink because they are just drying now. They didn't fit in the dishwasher. So um, he's helping me out with that, which is wonderful. And then Everly's trying to sweep for me. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there. We do have our company, a company, 
coming. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. We have our company showing up shortly and um, I just want to, I opened a Vizzy, a can of Vizzy. If you haven't tried Vizzy, it's like Truly or something, White Claw, something like those. They're really good, but I opened one up to relax myself. I always get anxious when people come over. No matter who it is, I always get anxious and want my house to look good, so. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap the video up there today. I hope you got some cleaning motivation. I love getting my laundry done, getting Everly's room clean and ready for the week, and also getting some of the daycare space done, which I didn't really show you. But um, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.